thank you for joining us. No candidate for mayor went won outright tonight. Instead, the top two candidates will be on the ballot again this November. Ken Welch polled in first place tonight. He tells ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck he is focused on progress. She kicks off our live team coverage from downtown St. Pete. Sarah? Well, as we know, the city of St. Pete continues to grow, and Ken Welch tells me his top priority is making sure that no one is left behind as that city grows and flourishes and that they can continue to afford to rent, live, and play here in St. Petersburg. Ken Welch has actually spent the last 20 years serving on the Pinellas County Commission, and now he wants to take on the mayor's role. He thinks that he would be a great person to make sure that all of our neighborhoods stay safe, there's affordable housing, and equitable equitable growth. Leading up to tonight, Welch drove over a thousand rides for Uber and Lyft, getting to know St. Pete residents. If elected in November, Welch will be the first black mayor in St. Petersburg's history. The reality is we are still breaking barriers in 2021, and I'm looking forward to the day when we're not breaking barriers anymore. But it has significance. I'm a, I'm a child of the gas plant. You know, my grandfather's wood yard was where a Tropicana field is. So it is significant that now, you know, I have the opportunity to leave this city. Current Mayor Rick Kreisman sent a tweet congratulating both Welch and current city council member Robert Blackman on advancing in the race for his seat. He's endorsing Welch, but also says he hopes whoever wins will continue to push the city forward. I think every elected official that serves in this capacity hopes that whoever comes after them will build on the things that worked and fix the things that didn't work. Uh, you know, and look, we've made we've made great strides here in St. Pete, but there's a lot of work to do still. Now, the next mayor will have a lot to tackle, keeping the raise in St. Pete, helping businesses and residents recover from the pandemic and preventing red tide and sewage spills, just to name a few things. And tonight, just 29 percent of voters cast a ballot in this election. So both of those candidates plan to really work to get out the vote coming up in November. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.